Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. I'm Kamika Love from thebudgetmom.com and today we are talking about what's in my purse. So I get this question a lot from the TVM family community. You know, our purse is something, as women, is something that not only do we access all the time, but we carry it around with us everywhere we go. I'm the type of person where I do my best work and I'm the most efficient and the most effective when I'm in clean, a clean environment. So for instance, when my office is a disaster zone, my mind is chaotic. It's going a thousand different ways, like all the things that I need to pick up and clean, the huge to-do lists, like all these sticky notes everywhere. I'm not the most effective in that environment. Versus if my office is clean, I feel like I can focus on my, ta my task at hand and not so much the craziness and busyness, busyness of the things around me. The same kind of goes with my purse. So today I'm gonna to be showing you my three go-to purses. And right now, today, I'm gonna to be showing you what's inside. I have, it's a fossil purse, and I'm gonna be talking about which one it is. Um, but the great thing that I love about this purse is that you can wear it as a backpack. So one of my main things when I am looking or have a purse in my life, most of the time it's for everyday wear. And as I have gotten older and after I had my kiddo, I realized the importance of having my hands free. That's when I discovered purses that transition into backpacks. So that's really, really important and crucial to me when I'm picking out a purse. I do have purses though, like a crossbody. Crossbody purses are great because they do allow you to have your hands free, but the extra weight on your shoulder on just that one side for me is painful, especially after a long day if like I'm walking and doing things around town and I have my purse constantly on my shoulder with the crossbody, that can hurt sometimes. So the best solution I have found are these backpack little purses. And I'll be going over, like I said, about the one, one, the one that I'm gonna be using and I am using in my life right now. So let's talk about what's in my purse, how I organize it, and my three go-to purses. All right, so I have you over here on my kitchen table. This is currently the inside of my purse. And what I have inside, I'm just gonna lay out for you. Okay, so these are all the different things that I carry in my purse every single day. So the first one is a water bottle. Now, I have tried to carry water bottles in my purse before, and what happened was the water bottle size I picked was all wrong. So if you're gonna be picking a water bottle for your purse, I suggest eight ounces or smaller. That way, it's lightweight, and it doesn't create a lot of weight in your purse when you're carrying it. So this is just a swell bottle, a little eight ounce. The next thing I like to keep in my purse at all times is a journal or a notebook. For me, it's mostly just blank pages. That way I can jot down notes if I'm in a work meeting or if I need to jot down notes when I'm, you know, park somewhere I have. It's just a thought book. For me, I call it my thought book. You know how I have my sticky notes on my desk at my computer? This is more for me on the go to just record anything I need to write down. So I always have a small journal or notebook in my purse. I carry this in my purse at all times. So the story behind this is I bought this in Mexico and it's actually made out of recyclable materials. It's just a little coin bag. Now I could use this for other things. Right now it's empty, but I still keep it in my purse. I just like the little cute saying, you're beautiful, don't change. I thought it was so cute. So I keep this as, an, in, like as a little reminder in my purse. The next I have, let's, so I have obviously my wallet. I have the TBM Filofax wallet and inside of that, I have all of my different cash envelopes. It's great because this is actually where I store my change. It has a little change pocket and then a ton of spots for cards and stuff like that. So that's my wallet. Now the next thing we're gonna talk about is the real meat of organizing your purse. What do you do with all the little gadgets, chapstick, hair ties, 
lip balm, all of that hand, san or hand sanitizer or hand lotion. So for me, it's all about organizing using containers or little bags like you see here, or even a little bag, something like this. This red bag in my purse really houses all of those small gadgets that kind of just lie around in the bottom of our purses. We don't really see them or we forget that they're there. This way, everything's in a really organized area. And this is what the inside of this purse looks like. So I am kind of crazy. I have, like I said, all of my stuff are in little containers. So I'm just going to lay out the contents of this bag so you can see what I have in here, everything that fits in here. All right, so inside my little, I call it my go-to bag, my little go-to bag. I have hand, san hand sanitizer and hair accessories, little hair clips, so I'm using this is actually a pill organizer. And I bought a bundle of these off of Amazon for really cheap and I use them for all the little knickknacks in my purse. So one of them being like my bobby pins and my hair clips. Next we have just some nail clippers, obviously icebreakers and a bottle opener. And we have my cuticle cream because I get really dry hands or in dry cuticles. And I have my hand cream, which is also really important. For my chapsticks, I'm using just a, this little box was actually from the little flossing sticks that you can buy in bulk that have like little picks on them. I converted it into a little chapstick holder. So I have different chapsticks that I like to wear and that's what I'm using to organize all of my different chapsticks. I have a little label maker and I just created a little label for all these things. I also always carry around, and I know this may sound strange, but extra nose rings. So there are times where my nose ring falls out because I wear such a small stud in my nose. I like to have extras inside of my purse. I'm actually using a container um, that was for nail art stickers. It came in this little container it's a little screw on as you can see all my little nose rings in there. The next thing I have is a business card case looks like this. And inside I just have all of my different business cards if I need to hand one out and that's I have a little business card holder. And then last but not least, I always carry a different or um, a separate mask inside my purse just in case I forget one or Jamesy needs one or Chris needs one. I have an extra mask inside my purse as well. So I showed you what's inside of my purse and some of the ways that I keep the contents inside my purse organized. My biggest recommendation with all the little knickknacks and things, so a lot of people buy purses based on the pockets. Like, have you ever heard like going shopping with a purse with a friend and they'll say, oh, show me all the pockets inside or how many pockets does it have inside? For me, pockets don't really play that big of a role when I'm deciding on my purse, mostly it's about comfort for me. I can always find my own containers or different things to organize the contents on the inside. My biggest recommendation is try to find things, different containers you have already at home. So like I had mentioned, I'm using just a, dis a little plastic container that I got with some disposable floss sticks. You can also use any of the little travel Q-tip containers. Those are great for also organizing, maybe instead of a a big bag like this, if you don't need a big bag, I have kind of a mom contents going on, but if you don't need something this big, the travel Q-tip containers are perfect for organizing smaller things inside of your purse. Also, I do recommend having a water bottle, a little eight or six ounce water bottle inside your purse. This has come in handy for me many times. In fact, that's why I'd still keep a water bottle in my purse and then keep something. Now, a lot of people have notes apps inside their phones where they can record any type of notes or anything that meant thoughts that they want to jot down. I have actually been in position where I didn't have my phone on me and needed to take notes. So I always like to have a little notebook. It doesn't have to be this big. Um, I like a bigger journal or notebook inside my purse, but that also comes in handy. So now that I've showed you what's inside of my purse, let's talk about the different purses in my life. So the first one that I've showed you and the one I'm currently using is actually called the Fossil Camilla Bag. 
and it can be worn three different ways like I had mentioned. As a backpack, these straps disconnect from the purse. You can have it as a crossbody or you can even have these two straps in the back come, come together and you can wear them on the shoulder bag. So that's really handy. I like the versatility of this purse, but I also love the brand Fossil. So I am not a sponsor or affiliated with Fossil. I just actually really love the brand. I've been using that brand since high school and I still swear by it. The leather quality is amazing and they last forever. So this is my more everyday go-to bag. Another everyday go-to bag that I use for years is a crossbody bag, all leather bag that I bought in Costa Rica. Now, unfortunately, the, I bought this from a wonderful lady who was selling, this on the, selling these on the outside of her house. So I don't have and haven't been able to find a link to all this, this purse specifically, but it is one of my go-to purses. I love it. It's a crossbody and I love the size. So this is the second purse that I go to every single day. And then we have something for me, which was more of a gift to myself that I bought a while ago that I don't use that often is a Louis Vuitton bag. So I have this smaller Louis Vuitton bag. There are some things that I don't like about this purse and the reason why I don't like automatically gravitate towards it. One of the things being is these straps on the bag. Now this Louis Vuitton bag can be either an over the shoulder bag like you're seeing it right now or it can be a crossbody. These straps extend and you can make it into a crossbody. But where the buckle lays on the crossbody digs right into my shoulder bone. So after just a couple of hours, it really does end up being quite uncomfortable for my shoulder. Another thing that I don't like about my Louis Vuitton and the reason I only use it for special occasions is the way that the straps are on the inside of the purse. So do you see these like straps right here? And this is what cinches the purse together. They are constantly getting in the way. So it's not easy to grab things in and out, especially like a bigger wallet that I have. So this purse is probably better for someone who has a smaller wallet and who doesn't mind wearing it just as the shoulder bag. I'm not much of a shoulder bag person. So even though it's a very, very nice quality purse, I do only use this one for special occasions. So that is a look inside the different purses I'm using in my life right now and how I organize the different contents in my purse. If you found this video helpful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. So for me, it's all about compartment, compart, compartmentalite. Okay, I'm just not gonna say that word. <laughs> and handy. You done, kitty? You done?